Hello grade 9 students, so I'm Teacher V and welcome ka dito sa aking channel. At kung gusto mo ng mga ganitong klase ng videos na related sa math, i-click mo na yung subscribe button para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ni Teacher V. At meron nga palang ginawang Facebook group si Teacher V. Salik ka doon, mag-invite ka ng mga kaklase mo na grade 9 din. At doon ako magbibigay ng mga updates at mag-offer ng one-on-one -on -one tutorial ng libre. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box yung link, so i-check nyo na lang doon. Okay. This time, i-apply natin yung radical equations in solving word problems. Number 6 na tayo, find the side of the square if the area is 49 square meters. Sulat natin yung mga given. Yung given is yung area. Area is 49 square meters. And then yung side ay hahanapin natin. So, hahanapin natin kung ano yung sukat ng side niya. So, we will let yung side natin as x. Kasi hindi natin alam. So, x na lang ilagay natin para sa ating side. At ang formula sa pagkuha ng area ng square is equal to S squared or square nung ating side. Since meron naman na tayong mga given, isubstitute natin yung given natin dito sa ating formula. Ang area natin is 49. Then equal natin sa ano yung S natin? Ang S natin is X. And then squared. Next, kailangan X lang ang makuha natin. Ibig sabihin, matanggal dapat itong 2 na exponent ng ating x. At para matanggal yon i-square root natin both sides. Pag in-square root natin both sides, makakancel na yung exponent nito na 2 and yung kanyang radical sign. At may iwan yung x. Square root of 49. What is the square root of 49? The answer is positive 7. Then dito, matitira na lang yung x. Pwede rin naman na ang sagot natin is negative 7 sa square root of 49. Pero, tandaan na ito ay word problem at ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay yung sukat ng side. Kapag gumagamit tayo ng sukat, hindi tayo gumagamit ng negative. So, hindi natin gagamitin yung negative 7, kundi yung positive or principal root lang ng ating 49, which is yung positive 7. Therefore, our x is equal to 7. O yung sides natin, ng ating square ay 7. So, the sides is equal to 7 meters. I-check natin. So, ang area is equal to S squared. So, ang area natin is 49. Is equal to, yung nakuha nating S or side is 7 squared. So, 49 is equal to 7 times 7 is 49. So, therefore, our answer is correct. The answer is 7 meters. Number 7 na tayo. The shorter leg of a right triangle is one half of the longer leg and the hypotenuse is 2 centimeters. How long is each leg of a triangle? Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is yung right triangle. Ito yung ating right triangle. And yung right triangle natin ay may 3 parts. Itong pinakamahabang side, ang tawag natin ay hypotenuse. And itong isa, yung tinatawag natin shorter leg. And yung isa, isang side, yung tinatawag natin longer leg. According sa problem natin, ang hypotenuse daw natin is 2 centimeters. Pagkatapos, ang shorter leg natin ay one half ng longer leg. So, one half ng longer leg. So, meaning to say, ang x natin dito is yung longer leg. Kasi, yung shorter leg natin is one half the longer leg. And, aside from this, mag-assume din tayo ng mga values and lagyan natin din ng mga variable yung parts ng ating right triangle. Let's say, yung ating potinus, ito yung C. Yung shorter leg natin yung A, tapos yung longer leg natin is yung B. According sa tinatawag nating Pythagorean Theorem, or tungkol sa potinus ng ating right triangle, we have this formula. 
c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Ayan yun. Yung hypotenuse ng ating right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse of the right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the shorter leg and longer leg. Kaya meron tayong A, yung shorter leg, squared, plus B, yung longer leg, squared. Yan yung tinatawag nating Pythagorean theorem. And using this formula, isubstitute natin yung mga values na given dun sa ating problem. Ano yung C natin? Ang C natin, o hypotenuse natin, is 2. Then, may squared. So, lagyan mo rin ang squared to. Is equal to, yung A natin, o yung shorter leg natin, yung A, is 1 half X. Then, lagyan mo rin ang squared, kasi may square yan. So, squared. Plus, yung B natin, yung longer leg natin is X. Then, lagyan mo rin ng squared. Next, isolve na natin siya. So, 2 squared, so, tuloy natin dito. So, 2 squared is 4 is equal to, so, square lang natin to, magiging, kahit x na lang yung ilagay natin, x squared over 4, kasi 2 times 2 is 4. Then, ito, 1 times 1 is 1, then x times x is x squared, plus x squared. Then, cross-multiply or yung butterfly method lang. Gawin natin dito kasi, ayan, merong fraction and whole number. So, dahan-dahan lang para hindi magkamali. Okay. X squared times yung 1. May over 1 dito. Hindi e X squared. Plus, X squared times 4 is 4X squared over 4. Kasi 4 times 1, 4 times 1 is 4. Then, isimplify natin, 4 is equal to x squared plus 4x squared. Pwede mong i-add kasi nga pareho sila ng x or variable and exponent. So, may 1 to, automatic na may 1 na invisible yan. So, 1 plus 4 is 5x squared over 4. Ano susunod mong gagawin? Next, mapapansin nyo magiging quadratic equation na siya. Paano nangyari yun, ma'am? So, pag nag-add ka ng negative 4 to both sides, so magiging 0 na yan, and itong other side ay magiging 5 over 4, x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, ito yun. 5 over 4, x squared minus 4 is equal to kay 0. And, dahil ito ay quadratic equation, kailangan mong makuha yung roots or yung x niya, gamitan na lang natin ng quadratic formula. Natatandaan nyo pa ba yung quadratic formula natin? Ang quadratic formula natin is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, yan yung ating quadratic formula. I-identify natin yung mga values ng equation natin. Ang A natin is 5 over 4. Ang B is 0. So, wala naman tayong X dito, or B. And then, yung C natin is negative 4. So, isubstitute natin yung A, B, and C dito sa ating formula. So, magiging negative. Yung B natin is 0. Plus, minus, square root of 0 squared. So, sa B natin, minus 4. Yung A natin is 5 over 4. And yung C natin is negative 4. Over 2 times yung A na 5 over 4. Okay, so madali na lang kasi may mga 0 tayo. So, ito magiging 0, 0 na yan. So, dito na tayo mag-focus. So, negative 4 times 5 over 4. So, negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. So, negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. So, square root of 20 over... Okay, ito naman. 2 times 5 is 10 over 4. So, 10 over 4. 
Then, isimplify na natin to. Yung square root of 20, pwede pa dyan yung 4 times 5. Over. Ito is, ano mo lang, lowest term mo lang. So, 5 over 2. Yung lowest term lang natin yan. Then, pwede mong ilabas itong square root of 4. Kasi ang square root, may square root ang 4 and that is 2. So, magiging answer natin is 2. Square root of 5 over 5 over 2. Then, paano mo na ngayon isi-simplify to? So, move natin dito. Okay. So, ang gagawin mo lang is, yung 5 over 2 is, i-reciprocal mo, pagbalik na rin mo, then i-multiply mo dito sa 2 square root of 5. So, 2 square root of 5 times, okay, reciprocal mo to, yung 5 over 2, so that is 2 over 5. Okay, then, i-multiply mo lang. 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 5 over 5 times 1. May over 1 yan. The answer is 5. Okay, so therefore, our x is equal to 4 square root of 5 over 5. So, ito yung x natin or ito yung ating longer leg. Natatandaan nyo kanina, yung longer leg natin, yung x natin is yung longer leg. Pagkatapos, yung ating shorter leg is one half x. Yung shorter leg. So, nakuha na natin yung longer leg. Pero, paano naman itong shorter leg? So, itatimes mo lang itong x mo sa one half. Okay? So, one half, para sa shorter leg na to, one half, times mo ngayon dun sa x, kasi ito yun, no, 1 half x. So, 1 half times mo yung x, 4 square root of 5 over 5. So, the answer is, so, 1, one times 4 square root of 5, edi 4 square root of 5 over 2 times 5 is 10. Okay. Then, pwede mong i-lowest term yung 4 at saka 10. Pwede mong i-divide yan sa 2 pareho. So, divide mo to sa 2. So, that is 2. Divide mo to sa 2. That is 5. So, therefore, ang answer natin is 2 square root of 5 over 5. So, ito naman yung para sa ating shorter leg. Yung 1 half x natin, yung 1 half x natin is equal to 2 square root of 5 over 5. Okay? So, ito yung para sa shorter leg natin. And ito namang isa, yung 4 square root of 5 over 5, yung para sa longer leg natin. E di na na natin yung problem number 7. <laughs> Medyo complicated talaga. Pero, no choice tayo. Kailangan natin intindihin. Kailangan natin i-recall yung mga natutunan natin or ibang concepts sa, sa mat para ma-solve natin yung problem number 7. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung answer natin. So, move on na tayo. Move on na tayo kasi masyad na tayong nasasaktan dito sa number 7. Kasi ang dami. Okay, number 8 na tayo. Number 8, 5 times the square root of a number is 10. Find the number. Okay, again, yung a number natin is, ire-represent natin as x. Okay. So, 5 times the square root of a number. So, 5 times the square root of a number is equal to 10. Okay, ito. So, solve lang natin. So, magiging, kailangan lang maiwan muna yung square root of x. So, I-divide lang natin both sides sa 5 para matanggal itong 5 na nandito sa katabi ng x. Ayan. Then, simplify. Square root of x is equal to 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay, then, after noon, dahil nag-iisa na lang yung radical dito, pwede mo na ngayong i-square. I-square mo na rin itong kabila. Maka-cancel na yung 2 and yung radical. May iiwan na ngayon yung x. And then, simplify mo to yung 2 squared. The answer is 4. So, therefore, our x is, is equal to 4. Yeah, medyo madali sa number 8, ano? <laughs> Next, number 9. The cube root of a number decreased by 4 is 0. Find the number. 
Okay, so sulat lang natin. Cube root of a number, okay, x, decrease by 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so anong gagawin natin dyan? Dahil ito ay cube root, i raise lang natin to sa 3, both sides. Para ma-cancel yung radical niya. Okay, then, mangyayari dyan is matitira na lang yung x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, then, kailangan x lang ang matira rito. So, mag-add tayo ng 4 to both side. So, magiging 0 na to. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Maiiwan na lang yung x. Then, 0 plus 4 is 4. Our x here is 4. Ayan. And then, number 10. Ayan, last number na sa wakas. The square root of the cube root of a number is 3. Find the number. So, dalawa, no? The square root of the cube root of a number. Di isulat natin siya. Square root of the cube root of a number square root of a cube root yeah. square root of a cube root of a number is 3 so find the number or find yung x natin okay so ganito yan so pag nakakita kayo ng ganito double radical ipag times nyo lang yung index nila 2 times 3 that is magiging 6 na so 6 root of x is equal to 3 and then kailangan makancel mo yung index nya Yung index niya is 6. So, para makancel mo yan, edi erase mo rin to sa 6 and then erase mo rin to sa 6. Then, makakancel na yan. May iwan na yung x. Then, ito, isimplify mo lang. 3 raised to 6. Ibig sabihin yan, times mo yung 3 ng anim na beses sa sarili niya. Yan. So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 729. So, therefore, our x is 729. Okay? Or, ang other way dito, pwede rin naman, gawin mong fraction, yung x. So, parang ganito, x raised to 1 third, then raised to 1 half. Diba? Naituro na to sa inyo. Kapag tinranslate natin to into fractional exponent, Pag sinimplify mo yan, magiging x raised to 1 times 1 is 1, then 3 times 2 is 6. So, magiging ganito siya. 6 root of x. And para makancel mo nga yan, edi erase mo sa 6. So, kaya ganun ang ginawa natin dito. Pero para mas shortcut, ganun na lang gawin mo, times mo na lang to, yung index nito, and yung index nito, 6 I-write mo na lang siya as 1 radical. And then, ayun na. Nasusolve na natin yung x. By raising both sides to 6. Okay, so that's it. Finally, natapos na tayo sa radical equation. So, I hope na makatulong ang video na to para maintindihan mo at masagutan yung mga learning tasks mo involving word problems. Totoo na hindi siya madali. Medyo kailangan ng analyzation. Okay, critical thinking, sabi nga nila, sa pagsusolve ng mga word problems. Pero walang mahirap na problem sa mga students na willing matuto or gustong matuto. Kaya, try lang ng try, solve lang ng solve, and makukuha mo rin yung correct answer. Huwag mo rin kalimutang i-share to sa ibang nangangailangan, lalo na yung mga kaklase mo. Baka hindi rin nila alam kung anong gagawin sa mga word problems. So, baka makatulong ang video na to sa kanila, kaya i-share mo, mo na to sa kanila. And see you again sa mga susunod ko pang video. Goodbye!